measuring center of a data represented as a list. So whenever we talk about measuring center, we refer to the calculation of mean and median. Because we use the values of mean and median to describe the center of a data list. So here, for the ease of calculation, I have already written down our data list below and I'm going to use this data list to calculate the mean and median. So first of all, let's talk about mean. Mean is the arithmetic mean or the term we commonly use, the average of the data set. Arithmetic mean or average of the data set. So here mean is equals to, we have to sum up all the data and then divide it with the number of data to find the mean of this data set. So mean is equals to summation of x divided by n. So in this case, Summation of x is the sum of all the data. Summation of x is sum of all data, all data in the list. And n is the total number of data. n is the total number of data. Total number of data. So let's calculate the mean for this example. So mean is equal to summation of x divided by n. Let's sum up all the, all the data we have here. So the sum of data is 5 plus 9 plus 10 plus 8 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 4. So we have sum up all the data here. And we have to divide it with the total number of data. Let's see how many number, how many data we have here. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. So we have a total of 9 data here. So we have sum of all the data. Then we have divided with total number of data. Let me take out my calculator to find the sum of data. So the sum of data is 5 plus... 9 plus 10 plus 8 plus 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 4. So the sum of all the data comes 41. So 41 divided by 9. So let's see what's 49 divided by 9 is. 41 divided by 9. 41 divided by 9 is equals to 4.5 repeating. So I want to write the answer to two decimal places. So I'll write 4.56. So the mean value for this data list is 4.56 to two decimal places. Now the next thing we are going to talk about is the median. We are going to talk about median. So, before I start the calculation, let me explain what median actually means. So, median of a data list is the center value, center or we can say middle value of the data list, center value or middle value of the data list. when arranged in ascending order. When arranged in ascending order. Arranged in ascending order. So if you look carefully on the list where I have written, the list is not arranged in ascending order. So before I can calculate out the median, I have to write down this list, at least rewrite down the list in ascending order. So let me use another color to write the data list in ascending order. So for C, let's see what is the smallest value here. The smallest value is 1 and we have to be very careful about the frequency of every data because if we make mistake on writing the frequency properly then we 
will have a wrong value for median value. So I have 1 as the smallest value and the frequency of 1 is 3. So I have to write down 1 3 times. So 1, 1 and 1. Then the second lowest value I have is 2 and the frequency of 2 is 1. So 2. Then I have 4 here. 4. Then I have 5. Then I have 8 here. 8. And then finally I have 9 and 10. I have 9 and 10. 9 is the highest value of the data list and 1 is the lowest value of the data list. So I have my all the data, I have all the data arranged in ascending order here. So let me see which one is the center data. On either side of the center value, we, we will have equal number of data. So first let's consider two. I have three data on one side of two and five data on the other side of two. So two is not the center value as the number of data on either side of two is not the same. Then let's talk about 4. I have 4 data on one side of 4 and then I have more 4 data on other side of 4. So I can say that 4 is the central value for this data list when, when arranged in ascending order because it has equal number of data on either side of the data list, either side of the value. So for this example, my median value is 4. So median value is is equal to 4. So let's scroll up. So I had a data here. I calculated the mean. Mean is calculated by sum, summing up all the data then dividing it with total number of data. Then I have calculated the median. I have, cal I have before calculating the median, I have arranged the data set in ascending order and then I figured out the middle value. And the middle value or the center value itself is the median value. Now let's talk about another example that I've already written here and I will see the problem we will face while figuring out the median of this data list. So first of all let's arrange this data list in ascending order. So the smallest value in this data list is 1 and 1 has a frequency of 3. So 1, 1 and 1. So I have to write down 1 thrice here. 1, 1 and 1. Then I have 2, I'll write down 2, after that I have 5, then I have this 8, then I have 9, and the final value or the highest value is 10. So if you look carefully first, let's see, if you consider this 2, I have 3 data on one side of 2 and I have 4 data on the other side of 2. So 2 is not the center value for this data list. Now if I consider 5, I have 4 values on one side of 5 and 3 values of one side of 3. So I don't have any single value here which has equal number of data on either side. But if I consider 2 and 5 as a whole, I have 3 data on either side of 2 and 5. I have 3 data here and 3 data on the other side. So we can say the median value is the central value is 2 and 5 but to find the median we have to consider the arithmetic mean of these two center value. So for this case median is the arithmetic mean or we can say average of the two center value we have here. So 2 plus 5 divided by so 2, 2 plus 5 comes 7, 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. So for this case, we have the median value 3.5 because we have figured out that we have two values as the central value. We do not have a single value as the central value. Therefore, we have to take the arithmetic mean of the two values we considered as the central values. Because median has to be a single value, meaning it cannot be two values. Therefore, the median is 3.5, the arithmetic mean of the two central value.